Hey there, Gavin Gear here from ultimatereloader.com and today I want to continue the work that we've been doing with the Hornady 366 8 station shot shell reloader by showing you the machine in full progressive operation. Now there's a lot to this machine and it does a lot for you so I'm going to take things step by step. Let's take a look. All right, so we're all set up for full progressive operation here. I'm reloading some Remington Gun Club 12 gauge previously fired holes. And what I wanted to do before I go into too much detail in terms of what each station is doing is cycle the press a couple times so that you can kind of visualize what happens. So I'm all ready to go here. Lower the handle, raise the handle. And each time I do that, I pull the hole from the sizing station, I put it into station number one, insert a fresh hole. This obviously hasn't been deprimed uh, yet. That happens in the sizing station as well. If you don't need to size, that can also happen here in, uh, in station number one. And then I'm also gonna take a, a wad, put that into the wad guide, which flips into position each time I, I cycle the press. We can go ahead and cycle that again. Taking things fairly slow because I'm still kind of ramping up here on the operation of the press. Pull the handle down, push the handle up, pull the sizing station hole, insert another sizing station hole, new wad into the wad guide, pull the handle again. You can see here that uh, I've got a doubled up three quarter inch plywood subplate that incorporates with the studio bench system that I've developed here at ultimatereloader.com that employs dual T-slot channels. And then I've got wing nuts so that I can quickly uh, remove presses from the bench and secure them to the bench when I need to change my reloading configuration. You can also slide this side to side rather easily. One of the interesting things that I did for this Hornady 366 press is the, the whole ejection system. And that uh, involves where there's a small funnel ramp down the back, the completed shell drops out into this funnel area, which is an ABS pipe and part of a funnel. There's a hole in the top of the bench and then the, the completed shells are deposited into this large uh, acro bin. Here, so I'll demonstrate what that looks like. Kind of cool. I like how it works and it uh, enables the whole system to work without having to, you know, deal with shells popping out the back, that kind of thing. So another thing that I wanted to mention really quick is the primer shut off system. It's a very simple uh, technique that I've developed here. The Hornady 366 priming system works when the shell plate uh, depresses this plastic collet. That moves the fingers apart, which causes the primer to fall into the hole, and then when the shell plate is indexed, it falls uh, into a little pocket where it's, it's punched in the next uh, station so that you get complete priming. Now what you want is to be able to shut the priming system off because if you're setting up the press, if you don't have a way of shutting it off, you basically get a whole bunch of extra primers that you have to pluck out by hand while the cartridge is going through the stations or if you're just adjusting the press and, and running it for whatever reason. So what I did is I added another nut here at the top. That way all I have to do is take a three quarter inch wrench and I can loosen the entire setup. Looks like my double nut has come uh, loose a little bit. Uh, but if you tighten those together uh, well, you can basically uh, raise the whole uh, priming tube so that the collet doesn't get depressed by the shell plate enough to drop a primer. When you want to continue priming, you just tighten the entire kind of nut assembly and your setting is preserved. So that's a really, real easy and fast way to implement uh, primer shutoff for the Hornady 366. 
Well, I hope that operational overview gives you a good idea of how the Hornady 366 8 station shot shell reloader works. Stay tuned on Ultimate Reloader because we've got a lot more content for metallic and shot shell reloading coming up. Thanks.